when you get into the um, those sort of lessons, are you you know the pieces so well that you kind of just play them in your sleep type deal, or was or is there a lot of nerves sort of walking in? So I remember, um, I don't remember. I think it was junior or senior year. You would come back from some sort of audition, or maybe all district or something. Uh, you had seemed very nonchalant about it, just in terms of like, you're just like, oh yeah, it's, it's whatever. And like I remember when I went in, I was nervous as hell. Is what sort of level of like nerves did you have going in, or were you so comfortable with those pieces by that point that you were just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna nail it. <laughs> I, I often go back to a quote that uh, my college professor would sometimes tell us is that you're never, you never get comfortable you get comfortable being uncomfortable right and so like i was never not nervous i lucked out that you know a lot of people will like shake when they get nervous or they sweat a lot when they get nervous i after almost every audition as soon as i was done and i didn't have to be like on like my hands would just start shaking like immediately and it was just like whoa i'm really glad that didn't happen five minutes ago um but yeah you just get you get more comfortable kind of putting yourself out there mm -hmm. and you know you're gonna it, it's kind of a brutal thing where it's you know sometimes you get first sometimes you don't make it at all yeah and you know it's it is it's kind of terrifying and and part of it you have to understand is also one person's opinion right and you have to kind of take both ends of that of like like you were talking about for for district or states or something you know sometimes those are three people in a room that maybe have never played the same and they're judging you and it's like 40 other kids from the state. Mm -hmm. And do they know how hard this specific moment in the piece is? Not really. And other times they'll have like an actual like bassoon perfect like teacher. And it's like, Oh, wow. Like they knew exactly. Like I can read their comments and they're like, Oh man. Yeah. They ripped me apart. Right. And you know, like, <laughs> so it, it's absolutely terrifying because you, you never know who you get. And that's, to their credit, a lot of people that get to performance degrees, that's their whole life uh, mm -hmm. is they go through and, and the, their whole life is blind auditions. Yeah. And, you know, you just they have are... to try and hope for your best and, and put in every second and think, think back to it. Yeah. Um, but I also like, you know, there, you mentioned the, how much do you like work on it? And it's, I mean, there's times I went back probably a month ago and played one of my audition pieces from college and it like it just fit right back in the fingers because I had played it so many times yeah. <laughs> right like it's like a part of your brain at this point mm -hmm. um, but yeah you kind of have to be at the point where it's where it's almost memorized yeah um, blind auditions are definitely terrifying because it's like it's only you and your instrument and that's it there's nowhere to hide if you mess up that's it it's just out there in the room and I remember I hated doing it um but looking back I'm, I'm glad i did um just to have the experience of being uncomfortable in that room like you have to bet on yourself like you mentioned earlier and it's just like it's one of those things those experiences that you take with you um yeah. later in life even for me like i didn't go into music um i still like music but that's it it's just like you your instrument and the judges and that's it and for people that don't like being like judged in like in that way, it's it's hard because it's just you're just there and everything is just out there. And if you mess it up, yeah. And some people don't overcome it, but it's mm -hmm. I mean it's it can be a really valuable thing to take with you no matter what you go into, mm -hmm. um, for sure. And just like I said, being comfortable, being a little uncomfortable, mm -hmm. and and kind of knowing that hopefully this works out, and if it doesn't. I'm going to be okay. <laughs> yeah, ex exactly. Getting that sort of like, um, I'll, I'll, I'll worry about the next one. Like mindset, like forget about that one, move on is very, very valuable. I feel like in the audition world of music, like music specifically, but just like that world where it's like, if you mess it up, that's it. And then you just got to move on. Um, and I have part of that with, um, like in high school, mm -hmm. like the, the state rankings and whatnot, mm -hmm. I'm sure like, because it went, I went eight, five, and then two. And I'm sure the expectation was like, oh, it's just going up. And mm -hmm. like, it was just luck that like all of those point values were by barely a point. Right. And it's, you know, they were all great players. And then my senior year, I got eighth back again. 
And part of it is because I spent less time and I like wanted to focus on the college auditions instead, but I'm sure that, you know, that's like, <laughs> I'm sure our director was like, well, that's weird, but it's like, you know, like that's just <laughs> what it, and you know, it wasn't as good of an audition that I had had previously. And, mm -hmm. and I was okay with that. And it was like, okay, like hopefully I make it. And if not, I don't, it's okay. Yeah. I think that was the one where you were non more non nonchalant about it after coming <laughs> back from, because I think, by that time, like you said, you had been focusing way more on the college ones, but. Oh.